Say goodbye to plastic-like skin in Flux. With this Laura, you will get natural looking skin with amazing texture. After I released this Laura, many of you had questions about how to use it. One of the most important ones was how can we use our own custom Laura alongside this one to get realistic skin while keeping the model's face unchanged. In this video, I show you the solution, how to retouch the skin and achieve a natural non-plastic look using this fantastic mind-blowing Laura. Hey guys, let's do a live test of my new Flux Laura model called No Plastic Look Skin Laura. This is a simple text to image workflow for Flux. You can see that I've activated the Laura with a value of 095 and use a good prompt asking for detailed facial features. I've already hit the Q prompt and I'm waiting to see the result. Wow, wow, it's amazing, guys. Look how natural and realistic this skin appears. No more of that shiny, plastic-looking skin. I really appreciate if you like the video right now and subscribe the channel for my next fantastic tutorials. I zoom in so you can see better. Yes, like this. It's incredible, absolutely incredible, guys. You can see here that this LoRa is active and the Ada Step LoRa is also enabled. I've set the step count to 10. My model is Flux Dev and the dual clips are loaded here. My prompt is ready and the seed is set to random. Now I take another test. You can check the details of the prompt here and you can also modify it if you want. Okay, it's done. These two images are also fantastic and incredibly realistic. Look at the texture of skin. Also, if you're not satisfied with the result, you can try testing different seeds and you'll see some extraordinary outcomes. Now, I'll bring back the previous image, the one I was really happy with, into Comfy UI again. Okay, I drag and drop it into the workflow. This allows me to see the seed which I used to generate this image. Here I fixed the seed so that the exact same seed from before I used. This time I want to test it without the LoRa being active to see the difference. Now I will deactivate the no plastic skin LoRa and hit Q prompt. I know you'll miss those plastic skins, won't you? All right, all right. This is Flux. You can see how plastic-like and unnatural the skin appears, even though my prompt was exactly the same, asking for realistic skin. You can compare the previous image with the Laura and this new one without it. You can clearly see the difference. Okay, now let's do an upscaling test and see how it works in image to image. I'm opening the version 2 upscale workflow with Flux which is one of my workflows, I'll copy the same prompt and paste it into this workflow. For selecting one of these four images, mm, I can say all of them look good, but I'll pick the first image. I adjust the setting properly. And here in the LoRa node, I add the no plastic skin LoRa with a value of 0.95. And here for the denoise strength, I set it to 0.28 and use two steps, then hit Q prompt. Okay, you can see the result is amazing. This skin looks fantastic. If you don't want the skin to be this smooth, you can lower the denoise value, for example, to 0.25, set the steps to 3 and test it again with these new settings. Wow, wow, the quality is outstanding. The skin looks very natural and even the detail on the lips are incredible. 
I'm zooming in a lot so you can see the details. Okay, look at this part. Wow, wow, just I have to say, wow, guys, it's stunning. If you want to remove the freckles, you can simply delete the word freckles from the prompt. Okay, and also you can increase the steps value to get more details and even more natural skin. So this was a live test for this incredible LoRa model. Okay, here is the place that we will retouch the model's skin. We have a load image node here and we can load our image and then mask the skin which we want to retouch. Okay, simply drag and drop your input image here like this. This image is created with a personal LoRa which I trained earlier and I generated an image with that and if you pay attention we have a very plastic look skin for our model and with using this LoRa we want to transfer this skin to a very high detailed and natural well textured skin for that reason we right click on the image and click open in mask editor we should brush over the skin and the areas we want to retouch I increase the size of my brush and smoothly start brushing pay attention don't brush eyes eyebrows this area of nose and also lips pay attention how i brush the areas i want to retouch i don't brush the entire model's nose because i want to keep the structure of her nose in the final image like this i try to brush the areas that have shiny and plastic look i don't touch a little bit of these areas because i want to have the main structure of her face in my final image if you suddenly brush the areas you don't want just simply right click and brush and you will remove that area with this handle, you can control the size of your brush. I see a little shine here and I brush it. This is a very important part, guys. So you have to put more time for that. Okay, I think we're good. We just scroll down. With your mouse wheel, you can zoom out and scroll up to zoom in. And when we've finished, just simply click save. Our mask is ready. I activate the no plastic skin LoRa and give it a value around 0 0.9 or 1. You can test different values for this one. And for the flux guidance, I suggest set the value around 35. Also, we're in a good prompt to generate a high realistic and very textured skin like this a hyper realistic close-up of a woman with highly detailed skin texture normal tone skin or you can change it whatever color you want and i should remove this the image captures fine details like freckles subtle imperfections the focus is sharp on the face particularly the cheeks and skin and this last part is crucial guys keep in mind to use this phrase in your prompt and in the in-paint crop node, we have two values here. We use forced size to increase the size of our image to give more space to AI to work on our image. If these parameters have low value, the AI wouldn't have much space to work on your input image. For example, if I put 512 by 512 for these parameters, and if I show you a preview image of the result of this node and right click here and press Q selected output node. You will have a 512 by 512 image that is very small for AI to work on and you won't achieve a good result for your skin texture or the details of your final image. But if I give it a high value number, 
like 1500 and also for this one and right click and press Q selected output. You will see the image now has a greater size and we will give the AI more space to work. Okay, so we will keep the numbers high here to achieve a high quality output. I delete this node and for case sampler node I put 11 steps because I activated the Flux Turbo LoRa and for the CFG I use 1.1 and you can increase this value if your textures are not so good and the CFG value will help the AI to be more creative. Okay everything is ready and I hit the Q prompt. This is my previous result. You can see the skin texture is very good and we could remove the plastic look skin from our model. And this is the best way to retouch the skin of your model. Okay, this is our new image. Wow, it's amazing, guys. We could keep our model's face features and at the same time, we could add textures to her skin without changing her face features. This is really amazing. For the next step, we can also upscale the image and even get more textures. To download all the workflows I work with in this video, you can check the description and you'll find the link. For upscaling process, you can simply right click on this image and choose copy image. And here, click on this node and press Ctrl V on your keyboard. And you will have the new image here. Because the dimension of this image is 1216 by 1216 and I want to double it, I should type here 1216 by 2, also 1216 by 2 and set 2 value for upscale by. I choose 3 steps and the value of 0 0.29 for denoise or I, I can lower it to 0 0.25. Also for the prompt section, I should use the same prompt I had here. And hit Q prompt. Okay, it's done. We can see here the upscale version of our image and we have a very good textured skin for our model. Look at the details, guys. It's impressive. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next videos.